I get asked all the time about mature skin. Well, here's the thing. Mature skin starts at 35. So I'm 53 and I am going to share with you Saint Makeup. I will do for you a basic hack. And what I really want you to know is that there is no right or wrong way to get this cream makeup on your face. It is, the beauty of it is that we are getting a three-dimensional look. So rather than the old way that we were taught to put one color on our whole face, what I'm going to show you is by putting two different highlights and contour, it's going to give me three-dimensional face, which is what we have. We don't have a flat face. So I'm just going to get started. And what I'm using is my 3D brush. We have beautiful double-ended brushes. And what I'm going to show you is the method that I use most times, and there is no right or wrong way. So what I'm doing is I am applying my main highlight, which is a little bit darker shade. I'm going to apply that, and then I am going to use the same brush, and I'm going to go in and apply my brightener highlight, which we want to kind of stipple it on. We want to be really careful in the eye area because that skin is really, really fragile. So just kind of stippling that on there. You can see that. It's going to look a little funny till we all get it put together. And trust that you're not going to get one of these cards, but you are going to get a PDF of the instructions. So that's why we call it paint by numbers. We give you, we choose, help you choose your colors. We send you the instructions and you get to create your own kind of beautiful. There is no right or wrong way. And makeup is, we have guidelines and not rules. Okay, so I think you'll love that. So I have got my main highlight and my brightener highlight all over my face. I'm gonna flip my brush around and I'm going to start blending. So I'm gonna blend my main highlight first because I want to kind of keep the, the definition. So I'm gonna blend my main highlight and I know exactly where I put it. And then I am going to use that same brush. I am never cleaning it off in between colors. If anything, I clean it off on my neck because our faces kind of go from here to here. And when you do get a color match, make sure that we can see from here to here so that we can match all of those tones, okay? That's a really, really important part of this process. And trust your artist that we know, okay? We know, and we will get the best colors for you. So I'm taking my same brush, and now I'm just blending down. I'm blending everywhere where I had that second color. I want to do it above my eyes because it makes for a really great base for your shadow. It's a So these products are super multi-purpose and you will see with very few products how you can get a beautiful, flawless, finished look. So what I've done now is I've just applied my two highlights. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour and contour placement is very personal and we have different placements depending on different looks that you want to get. I'm gonna place mine a little higher because as we know with mature skin, we want to get all the lift we can. I'm going to chisel out my jawline a little bit. And again, you're gonna get matched to your colors, your contour colors. So now I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. With contour, you want to have the illusion you don't want to totally blend it out, okay? You want to blend it so you don't have a line, but you don't want to blend it away. Again, I'm going to flip my brush over. And cream makeup looks gorgeous on all ages of skin. So just because I am mature skin, and that's what I'm showing you today, all ages. We have teenagers all the way up to 90 plus, and everyone loves this makeup. It is... It's just beautiful. That's all I can tell you right now. So I've got my contour here on my jawline 
And now I'm going to do my forehead. So what I'm trying to do, and based on your face shape, because what I'm trying to do is bring my face in closer, where your eye's going to look. Contour is our friend, ladies. It's like Spanx for our face. <laughs> And I think we could all use a little bit of that. So there's my contour. I'm now going to use that same contour and go into my brows because I am a lady of the 80s. I over tweeze my brows and doing your brows, if you haven't done them and you it's not something that's habit for you, I guarantee that once you start doing it, you are gonna wonder why you didn't do your brows. They just totally frame your eyes, show off your face. So I've got that contour there and I used my line brush. So it's got a spoolie on the end. What we also have is a brow wax and brows are so, so important. So what I would do is I'm going to just put a little bit of stay spray on my spoolie. I just put it in my hand. What I also did prior to starting is I used a squirt of stay spray and I prepped my face. I used it as a primer. Cream makeup you want to, so all you're gonna do is this. It's a very solid piece, so it's very interesting. I've used several different brow waxes, but what you wanna do is you wanna kind of fluff up your brows, then tame them down, and they are gonna be set and forget it. Okay, so these are wonderful. Now I am taking my multitasker brush because I'm gonna use that same contour. Again, I personally need all the help I can get in the lip area. So I'm taking my contour to the outer edge of my lips, kind of do a V on my Cupid's bow and I'm lining the outer edge of my lips to give my lips a little fuller look. And again, contour is to create illusions and that's what it's all about. So I've used my contour here, here, around my forehead, in my brows, around my lips. I'm also going to I'm just gonna use my finger as a tool because we don't always have to use tools. And I am going to chisel out my nose a little bit and contour that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it's attaching to your brow, to your brows, because you don't want like a floating line out there. And so I'm bringing the line down. The closer the line is together, the illusion's going to be of a slimmer nose then I will take my main highlight or pardon me my brightener highlight and go down the center do you see how your eye just automatically goes to the to the light so then I will take that same brush and I'm just going to lightly blend it I don't want to blend away the lines because again we're just creating we're creating new lines so we want to see it but we don't want to see it. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? And trust that this makeup blends so beautifully. So I've got those main colors on. I've got my multitasker brush. I'm now gonna go into my lip color. And our lip colors, all of our makeup comes in individual tins. You pop them into your magnetic palette. It's super slick. You choose your colors so there's no more there's no more buying palettes of colors that aren't what you want. I'm going in with Delia. And again, so you know I created that line around the outer edge on purpose because now I'm going to fill that in with my color all the way to the edge, giving me an illusion of a bigger, bigger lips. I'm going to use this same brush because I've got some excess and I don't like to waste. I'm gonna use that same brush on my cheeks. Again, blending it in, and you can blend it so ever slightly, okay? This 
makeup, it's so forgiving. So if you do happen to make a mistake, you can just blend it away. If you need more, you can add more, but you use so very little, okay? So now I've got my cheeks, same color, lip and cheek. So it's super convenient. I guarantee you that you are going to probably fall in love with this and want several colors. But what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take my illuminator and I have a powder illuminator. I'm just gonna put it on the end of my finger, tap it onto my lip. Again, gives us a look of a little poutier lip. I'm gonna use that same brush and just go a little bit of sunshine on my cheeks with the illuminator. Illuminator, ladies, it doesn't matter what age you are, don't let anyone tell you that you can't wear shimmer because you can. You just want to put it in the right places. And again, I am just tapping this on because you know what? We don't have all day to play with our makeup. Well, we, we may, but we can do it really fast or we can kind of play around. So what I did was I just tapped on a little bit of the illuminator and I put it on the top of my cheeks on my lips and now I will take my shadow brush. So with, uh, typically I have some hooded eyes so I put lashes on first and ladies, if you have hooded eyes, you're gonna wanna wear lashes because they are amazing. And so a little tip with hooded eyes, you want to put a base that is matte so I'm using Pup, which is a really beautiful base. Almost, it's super neutral, okay? And then you don't want to put a shimmery shadow up high, okay? So I'm just taking a matte, a matte color. This one is called Midnight, and our shadows come in three different finishes, matte, shimmer, and cream. So just put the placement of the proper finish in the right place. So for me, because I have hooded eyes, I wanna take it up higher. Otherwise, when I open my eyes, I would lose my shadow. As far as the little bit of shimmer, I can put a pop of shimmer right on the lid, just so that you catch it sometimes, okay? So this is a really, really basic hack, but I want you to know good makeup application starts with great skincare, exfoliate regularly, hydrate, take care of your skin. It's, if you have any uh, fine fuzz on your face, grab one of these things. It's called a tinkle razor. They sell them all over. It takes off just that fine fuzz and your makeup application goes on beautifully. With cream, you always want to finish. You can finish with a setting spray, which as I mentioned, I put on first. What I want to do is take my perfecter, which I dampened, rolled in a towel and dried. And now I'm just gonna roll it kind of where my makeup may settle. If you have too much, it's gonna settle in your lines and I'd rather have it settle on my perfecter as you can see, it takes off very little, but it all, it all adds up. So we don't want our makeup settling in the lines. If that's what you find, you're probably using too much. So know that a little goes a long way. It's buildable coverage. It lasts, it's just gorgeous. You need to dry this stuff. So now I'm taking a finishing powder and I am just tapping it on underneath my eyes, because that's my spot, kind of in my T-zone. And you're gonna know where you need to apply it, but you always want to finish this makeup. You set it and forget it for the day. So there it is, a basic hack. And I would love to help you choose your colors. That's what we're here for. Contact your artist, let her know what you need because that's our jobs. We're here to color match you, send you a recommendation and get you set up with whatever size of palette you choose. It's all fully customizable. 
you choose your brushes, you choose your colors, and then you're set. So have an awesome day and take care.